folks. Now, it's, uh, well, it's actually come up towards the afternoon, in fact. I've been out and about all morning getting some supplies in, folks, because today is going to be a chore day. Yeah, it's a chore day. Goodness me. Now, the first thing I've got to say to you, folks, is I was in a lot of trouble yesterday. This pen, my good, my good Lammy pen, cost about, I think it was eight ninety five was it twelve ninety five? Um was on it was in the washing machine yesterday folks on Rosie's first sort of full go of using the washing machine. The pen was in the washing machine. I could not believe it man when I saw it I was like oh no so I said to Rosie I think there's a pen in there and she went ballistic oh a fucking pen and up excuse my language and honestly man so luckily the pen fell into the sort of the rubber ring and it stayed there so oh thank goodness for that man i thought you know i was going to be in trouble but to tell you the truth folks i was more concerned about my good pen not actually working so i'm going to try it i've dried it out so let's hope it works let's have a there look we go. Oh. oh it seems to be all right man thank goodness for that yes Goodness. Now, folks, one of the main chores that I have to do, and in fact, I've been, I've been meaning to do it for like, since we got the carpet laid in the bedroom. When was that? Now, goodness knows, uh, is to put this. Uh, what do you call that thing? A spacer is that they call it? Onto the, um, onto just to keep the carpet down. Um, uh, we've really tripped over it on numerous occasions, so. Gonna have to get the old drill out and just just get that sorted. So that's been one of the main bones of contention between myself and Rosie. Can you see my knickers hanging up there? Oh, right. Let's get this sorted, shall we? Come on. Right, <clears throat> here we go folks, here we go. Right, let's see what mess we can make of this. We've done three of them so far folks. I oh, see why, why isn't that not going in? It's always something, man, isn't there? It's always something. How do you press this thing? Here we go. No, see, it just stops there. Why is that? I know what, it's stuck. On the head's going around, but the what is going on? Oh, for heaven's sake! Oh, f sake, there was something in there. Right, man. Oh, that's better. There we go. Yes, I'm doing it, folks. Jag is doing it. Oh, yes. We are doing it. So after a few little false starts, it's actually this thing here. What do you call that thing? The, the head of the screwdriver wasn't the, the proper...
Oh. We've just got one more to do, folks. And we have done a job that has been taken three years in the making or something. <laughs> da, da, da. Done it. It's done, folks. I've been meaning to do that for three years. In fact, I've been meaning to do it for longer than that. But uh, anyway, it's done. <laughs> right, folks. The next job involves some expanding foam polyfiller. Now, there's a hole down here where the cooker's going to be going. It's like a vent. I think it was maybe used as a vent in the old days for the... Um, for tumble dryers or something. I don't know, but it's been down. It's just been stuffed with newspapers and things. So I'm going to have a look at it. And I'm going to try and just scoosh some of this stuff into it and see what happens. Basically, that should hopefully block it off. There we go. Expanded. I think I should have maybe got expanding foam insulation. I'm not sure, folks. But uh, we'll try this anyway and see how we get on with it. Right, folks, well, that's it done. Now, if I don't mind saying so myself, I think, oh my goodness me, I've been taking these dizzy turns. Crikey, every time I stand up, I get dizzy. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, I think I made a good job in there. Look, you can uh, you hardly recognise it. So the cooker will be in here anyway, so you won't see it. But, um, so I cut a bit of, bit of the, uh, the vinyl floor and uh, I used that as the first sort of coverage. Sprayed loads of that polyfiller stuff in there, so it's all blocked. And then I used some of this to cover over it, covered with a piece of wallpaper as well. There you go, folks. It's a DIY is easy. I don't know why everybody gets all upset about it. Look, so there we go. Right, well, once the kitchen... Ah, oh, what's that? On? Oh, what's that? On? Oh, no, folks. I've got that foam on the tripod. Hang on. Oh, for goodness sake. It's really sticky. Honestly, folks, I thought I'd done well there. But, oh, no. What's going on here? Oh, man. Oh, oh please don't. I'm going to have to go through this out straight away, folks. Hang on. Oh, goodness me, a bit of the lino was almost stuck to the surface. Oh. Right, we're done. We are done now. That's it. So, yeah, I made quite a good job there. And I actually drilled the, um, the, the thing, the spacer thing as well. So, yeah, that's it. It's five to one, folks. Yes. I've done all my jobs. I've done my chores. I've done my chores. Oh, it's still smells a bit sticky in here, though. Hang on. People of the Jag Lives World. Attention, this is your captain speaking. We have an emergency situation. Emergency, yes indeed folks. In all the years that Jag Lives has been going on, this is possibly one of the biggest situations that is to occur. And there will be no more emergencies probably bigger than this. Guess what's happened folks? We've lost the Jag Lives walking fast tune. It's gone from the app folks. It's a disaster, yes. I don't know what's happened. Well, I do know what's happened. What happened was, I was uploading some things the other day onto Perfect Video, the app I use, and it was just going round and round and round because there were a couple of slow motion ones. It was one of Kirsty whacking Bro over the back of the head with a bit of bamboo. bamboo. Um, so I thought, I'll just delete the app and reinstall it, it'll be fine. So when I did that, the, the, the tunes on my song, every single song that I've got has gone, folks. It's a disaster. Oh my Lord, what are we going to do, folks? Now, I do have the tune, obviously, in my head, and it's it's on the uh, my 8-track, but it will be a hassle to get it from there onto here, and, oh, just, you know, I can't do it, folks. It's a disaster. I'll just leave it there. Just now, it's a disaster, folks. Now, folks, the house behind me there, as most of you know by now, because you've been watching this channel for, for so long, is uh, Balhousie Moines Care Home, but it was actually the home where uh, Elm Grove, where Jean Milne was famously murdered and nobody ever found out who did it. So, I want to try and do one of those Echovox things. Um, I don't know how far in I'll get before I can do it, folks. We're just going to try it. I was quite impressed with that. Um, just using it was actually really good fun up at um, uh, the Gind yesterday, folks. I, I mean, I don't know. What, what did you make of that, folks? Did you, did you hear anything on it? I don't know. I haven't yet worked out how you, you actually use it properly. You're supposed to download it onto your computer and use Audacity to work it all out, but you know me folks anyway so we're going to do a quick echo vox here i'm going to shout jean see if she hears me
Right, well, there we go, folks. I really don't know how you're supposed to use that, but I will. I've been looking on uh, YouTube and things on how to, to try and work it properly and that, but um, it's just the downloading it onto the thing you get. Anyway, <laughs> standing there shouting, Gene! I don't know, man. I don't know. It's all good fun, though. I like it. It's good fun. Yeah, it is. It's quite, it's quite addictive, really, if you find a nice little couple of places to go. So I'm going to try and uh, research a little bit more into this paranormal. Maybe if anybody could help me as well, if somebody could sort of maybe just take me out and show me what to do, just, you know, half an hour, just say, this is what you do with the settings, because I, I don't know, and there's reverb. Oh, I don't know. Uh, great fun. Loved it. So, uh, well, so I've got one more chore to do, folks. I have to go home now. Oh, look, just after me. Oh, there's a car just driving in just while I moved. Crikey. Or well, maybe it's a sign from Jean saying she's she's in the ether. I wonder what did happen in the house. It's a weird thing, isn't it? Right, folks, now we're not here to do an Echo Vox thing here, but behind me is a very famous house indeed, folks. Yes, a celebrity lives in there now. Do you know who it is, folks? Very famous Scottish celebrity lives behind those very gates. It's a big kind of old, it's called Melford. And a uh, big rambling kind of house. Are you there? Oh, there's a car coming. Anyway. I'll tell you at the end of the video who lives in that very house, folks. In fact, I'll just tell you now because it's Lorraine Kelly. Yes, Lorraine Kelly from Morning TV and Scotland's very own wonderful mumsy sort of celebrity. Well, guess what, folks? Yes, it's that time of the day again or that time of the week. It's technical problem time. Yes, it's a problem where you don't understand what's going on. You've done everything possible in your, you know, in your, in your repertoire of knowledge of all things technical and yet... No, oh, no. The ether proceeds to really huck you off, man, I tell you. It really does. So, this week's technical problem seems to be with the keyboard and the Roland Axial site, which last week I downloaded a heap of sounds. Great. Oh, do, 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 lots of beats and all sorts of stuff. And they were awesome. And I was loving it. I was going, yeah, great. Now the water's appeared. Honestly, I don't know where they are, man. I mean, how are you supposed to find where they go? Let's go to... Oh, I don't know. Right, folks, yes, I am just about at the end of my tether. But, however, my tether was just a little bit long enough and I managed to... What I had to do, I just wasn't loading up the file, the bin files from the the uh, the Axial website. I thought, what's going on? Why is that? So I've actually reformatted my whole keyboard, man. I've wiped everything off it. That was mine. All my sounds on it. Everything on it. Which are, oh no, has that been walking fast? Oh no, what have I done? Oh, oh no, so that's walking fast is on here, folks, so all is not lost. Anyway, so I've just I've started to re uh, put everything back on again. Now, what I had to do, which I didn't realise, was I had to reformat the uh, the Toshiba card. Oh, folks, I tell you, it's been a horrific thing. A horrific. But we are there, however, we're there. We've made it, we've done it. So, as usual, I love this hat, this is great. It's like a proper, you know, when I'm playing at night time now, I can see when I'm, look, watch, hang on. Throw this off it. Do, 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 do. So you can play my keyboard. Do, 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 do. Excellent hat. It's a hat that uh, Monarch Father very kindly came around and gave me. It's a brilliant hat, mate. Thank you very much.